and welcome to the fourth edition of Pioneer TV. I'm Taylor Coetz. And I'm Maya Daniels. We would like to remind you to stay active with Pioneer TV and subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. As well as check out official Pioneer TV Twitter page at Pioneer TV West. Virtual reality is making news everywhere around the world and is the technology of our millennial future. But did you know that there's a place right here in Wichita that you can go to to participate in the VR experience? We go to our own Taylor Coetz with a story. From darts to Xbox, there are many ways to consider yourself a gamer. But many gamers have yet to try Fireshare Gaming, an interactive virtual reality experience produced and perfected right here in Wichita. Fireshare Gaming is what we call ultimate gaming experiences. So uh, what is ultimate gaming experiences? It's things you would normally be able to do at home, um, either because it's too expensive or not quite practical. Fireshare Gaming is kind of just a place for all game enthusiasts. We have stuff to offer for anyone who loves games or just anyone who likes having fun in general, I'd say. The virtual reality experiences that we have here um, the headset ranges from $500 to $800, and then you need a $1,200 to $2,000 PC to run it. So you can imagine not everybody's got those at home. And then also, uh, this Fireshark Theater that I'm sitting in right now is a 160-square-foot uh, uh, rectangle that fits up to 16 players at once, so it's not quite practical for somebody to have in their house. Uh, so we have the, the most high-tech uh, virtual reality experiences um, on the market. Our main attraction, obviously, is virtual reality. So that's kind of what, what sets us apart from other people is because not a lot of places have stuff like this. Although other cities may offer virtual reality, Fireshark Gaming allows you to have a completely unique experience that you can't get anywhere else. This is due to the fact that everything you see or play in the theater was built and created in Wichita. We have above and beyond attractions. Um, so the Fireshark Theater, we build ourselves right here in Wichita. Um, the unique thing about it is it's uh, played on two different planes. So the floor and the walls um, are gaming surfaces. Uh, that makes it extremely unique to us. We build everything, the room itself and the software on the back end and the game. The HTC Vive, which is uh, I'd say our, most, our more popular, one, uh, it's where you stand up, put the virtual reality headset on, and you have controllers in each of your hands, so it's kind of like uh, you're walking around in the virtual world. Uh, and then our other one is the Oculus Rift, where you are sitting down and you have the virtual reality headset on. So that one's kind of less, uh, less immersive, but you still are in the virtual reality, you're just kind of sitting down and experiencing it that way. We're one of the few places around that have virtual reality. We are always here to be around and help because uh, a lot of people have struggles, but we try to be here and help everyone to make sure they have the best time that they can have. Fireshark isn't just for hardcore gamers. Anyone can enjoy this unique experience from kids to full-grown adults, even if you've never gone gaming before. Even teenagers that don't like video games still just love coming here and playing games. So um, it's really cool. If you've never done it before, definitely come by and try it. This is Taylor Coetz, Pioneer TV. Ever wonder what it is like to have a solution to all of your problems? Ever wonder what it's like to sit back, relax, and just chill? Well, you're about to with Journal Time with Max. Welcome to Journal Time with Max. Today I'm going to talk about what's been going on in the world and what's been going on inside my journal. I've got my co-host Chad with me today. Max, you are so cool and I love your show. Well, everyone give it up for Chad. How about we talk about being a senior in high school and had a trip? If you're a senior in high school, you're probably stressed. Three tips to relieve stress as a senior in high school. Step number one, take a nap. Just, just crash. Don't get a job when you're a senior in high school. Cry a lot. Spend a lot of time alone. <laughs> knock, knock joke time. Knock, knock. Who's there? Telly. Telly who? Telescope. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Orange, you glad I yeah, didn't say banana? Okay, let's see what... Hello? Hold on. Do you mind, like, doing the show for me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, I'll be there. Um, sorry guys, there's been technical difficulties. Chad's taking over the show from now on. Thank you guys for watching. Stay out of trouble. Here at our own West High, over 30% of our own student body is a part of the infamous Opportunity List. So we reached out to some of our West High teachers to ask them what their ideas were on this situation. We go to Daniel Rainwater with the story. West High is home to some of the best athletes in the Wichita area, but unfortunately, athletes aren't able to play the sports they love because they are getting claimed by the Opportunity List. My name is Mr. Kelly, and I teach drawing and painting here at West High. I think it's uh, mostly a benefit. I think that students stay more on top of their grades when they know that uh, what happens in the classroom carries to what they want to do outside the classroom a little bit. 
And teachers have to stay on top of their grades to help students out too. So I think it works both ways. I think that at this point in the game, we've had the opportunity list really in place since last year. Um, if a student shows up on the opportunity list, they know why they are there and they can work with that teacher pretty easily to get themselves off, especially when you consider all the tutoring that's available for students and extra help. Um, so I don't think that a student would unjustly end up there and not be able to get off. Many of the teachers are very supportive of the opportunity list and feel as though it should stay around, but one of the West High teachers says it should stay, but changes have to be made. Uh, my name is Joanna Freed and I am the instrumental music teacher and the an avid elective teacher at West High. Um, I think that the opportunity list is a good thing. Um, I think that kids should uh, make their priority their grades and school. Um, unfortunately, I feel like uh, all the kinks aren't out, so we still have some kids who are being punished even though um, they might have gotten their grades up, but the communication is still kind of lacking between um, teachers, administration, and students. Overall, teachers say that the opportunity list should stay, but there needs to be better communication between the ranks. Daniel Rainwater, Pioneer TV. Most West students resort to their ice cream needs by taking a trip to Brahms or McDonald's. We took it upon ourselves to go searching for a brand new store right here in Pioneer Country that serves the finest milkshakes. We go to our own Maya Daniels with the story. There are tons of options for tasty meals in the area surrounding West High. However, there's only one place like Milk Float, the recently opened cafe in Delano where you can get fresh baked goods and a variety of fun and quirky drinks. A recently opened cafe in the Delano district has Wichita's coming in the door each day. With everything made fresh in the built-in kitchen, many can't help themselves from the amazing food Milk Float has to offer. Upon walking in the door, you'll be greeted with a welcoming and relaxed environment. The staff is friendly and eager to help you feel right at home. From the custom light fixtures to the exposed brick walls, this industrial-themed cafe feels like it would fit right in in the Big Apple. Of course, the main focus of Milk Float is the specialty drinks and desserts. They create delicious seasonal menus, including all sorts of items you wouldn't find anywhere else, like homemade Pop-Tarts, honey buns, banoffee pie, and cakes in jars. They contribute to everyone's needs with the inclusion of vegan options. Also included in their menu are American classics like handmade brownies and cookies. Not only do they have delicious snacks, they also have thirst-quenching drinks, like their original craft sodas, and a collection of coffee that any caffeine junkie would enjoy. Their lattes are served with Instagram-worthy designs and taste as good as they look. If coffee isn't your thing, they also have an eclectic mix of tea. Although some may consider Milk Float to be on the pricey side, it's not hard to see that the items are well worth the price for their outstanding quality. This is Maya Daniels, Pioneer TV. With several returning players, the West High Bowling Squad continues to work their way up the City League standings. The West High Bowling Team also carries state aspirations as their season transpires. We go to Nick Gray with the story. West High's bowling team has been wanting to win the state title for many years. With hard work and determination, this year's team is determined to win state this year's season. My name is Will Thompson. I teach all the, or a lot of the business classes at West High School, and I also coach uh, bowling. And the bowling alley, all the bowling alleys in Wichita uh, pay for this league, actually, and I don't think a lot of people know that. Our goal this year for our boys team is uh, uh, each match, win each match, and then get us to uh, City League, win City League, get to regionals, win regionals, and then get to state as a team collectively and, and win state, and hopefully have one or two of our top bowlers finish number one, number two in the state. So that is, that is our ultimate goal. With the girls, um, they're not as competitive as our guys, but our goal with them is to have them grow and become better, and hopefully in the next year or two we'll see a, a good girls squad come around. Um, there's a few different styles of bowling. We can have uh, team events, or we can do Baker style bowling, which is just um, each player takes a turn throwing a frame, and then it combines the score together, and you compete that way. In high school league, I practice about four times a week. Outside of high school, you got say I practice about five times a week. I've been really trying to get involved this year with uh, some more of our athletics, so this position was open and I thought I could maybe help out. We have a couple different goals. Our, for our boys team, we really want them to have a good chance to make state. We have almost all seniors on our varsity squad, so, and with our girls team, we're really just trying to improve and build on uh, the program since we only have one senior this year. 
West High's bowling team has a triumphant story. In the past year, they have came from earning no awards to winning first and third place in their tournament. This is Nick Grave for Pioneer TV. You know, they say everyone has a hidden talent. Yeah, and some people never even find out what it is. But for Isaiah Kennedy, a West High freshman, he discovered his passion at an early age. We go to Michaela Lopez with a musician just down the hall. In today's society, most six-year-olds are worried about getting video game time in after school. For freshman Isaiah Kennedy, it was different. He was busy learning the keys of the piano from his grandmother. One day I came home from school and my grandma was playing the piano. I was six years old and I really liked it. So she helped me like get started with some notes and I just fell in love with the piano. This stereotype is what gets us a lot. So when he first came in, I wasn't sure what he was going to do. I thought he was going to dance or something because he's a pretty tall guy. And then when he said, well, I brought my keyboard and I'm going to sing, we were kind of surprised by that, and then we thought, okay, let's see what he can do. But they didn't really see me as like a piano player, like you said. They saw me more like an athlete, so they were very shocked. And it kind of felt good like, to, like for them to see what else I could do other than be an athlete. And I've been really just been thinking about my future, like be an athlete and also be a musician. And so I'm just really very determined to. It's good to have an outlet besides your football with his sports and stuff. You need to also have another outlet. And playing the piano and singing requires coordination and thinking with critical skills. So I think he'll do both as long, you know, it just depends on what he decides to do. I just hate when people just laugh at, at other people just because they don't have like, they don't sound the way that they want them to sound. I try to write my own music, but yeah, that doesn't work out too good. It's a balance when you have someone who's in sports and he takes what he knows from the field into something else, a certain subject, and balances it. That's what you need. Here at West, we love competition. And when it is between the different academies, it's even better. We end this episode of Pioneer TV with a highlight of the Academy competition on Friday, January 27th. And until next time, I'm Taylor Coetz. And I'm Maya Daniels. And don't forget to keep, keep calm, calm and pioneer on. on. I think it's going pretty good. Uh, I mean, both time, both teams are shooting pretty well, so we'll see how it goes. It's been fun, difficult but fun. We had a couple of bounces out there, but right now we're just trying to keep our head in the game and trying to get the rebounds off and get back to the shooters that are going to actually score some points. We lost our first event. Hopefully, we come back with the second one and get a W.